Rob, so for best picture this year, it's really a tough call. Um, a lot of these pictures are great and very, very different. It's a very, very different landscape of films. There's not a lot of one-to-one com -one comparisons that we have here. Mm -hmm. What's your take on, on the best picture and what's your pick? I think it is a two-horse race uh, at this point. La La Land obviously had a lot of uh, momentum coming out of the Golden Globes. I have detected a little bit of backlash with La La Land. I've talked to a lot of people who think about film who say, it was good, but that's a lot of nominations. Um, so I expect Moonlight actually to come out on top for Best Picture. I think too, coming off of last year's Oscar So White controversy, um, I think the voters have a different composition. They have a different mindset going into this year's uh, ceremony. I would expect Moonlight to come out on top. I'm with you 100%. I, I, I gauge it the exact same way you do. You know, La La Land looks like it could be this big monumental achievement, 14 mm -hmm. uh, nominations, which is a record, or mm -hmm. ties a record. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you just feel like, you know, uh, not everything's going to be there for it. It's going to win a lot of technical categories, mm -hmm. um, but I just don't see it winning Best Picture. Like you said, the Oscar So White controversy really, you know, makes it a little more... It's, it's, it's a different landscape. It's a di there's more voters this year. Mm -hmm. There's a different president of the Academy. Mm -hmm. I really see Moonlight, which is a phenomenal film, um, taking the lead. Are there any other films out on the list that you feel strongly about? Well, I loved Arrival. I, I, I think it's got the best combination I've seen in a while of sort of headiness, you know, ambition in terms of theme uh, and so forth, but it's a genre film, yeah. and so it's fun. Absolutely. It's going to be good to see.